Lord, and the joy of the Lord, it brings healing. It brings strength. Actually, we're told in Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 10, the joy of the Lord is your strength. From tonight, the joy of the Lord is your strength in Jesus' name. We're told in Proverbs, it says, A merry heart doeth good like medicine. A merry heart, a joyful heart, a happy heart, a peaceful heart will do good like medicine in your life in Jesus' name. I'm going to tell you a story. Before I tell you the story, shout joy. If you want the story, I say shout joy. That joy will come to your life. We went to the crusade in the northeast. That's uh, okay, almost going to two months now. And as we got there, there was this woman. She had fiber. The belly was big like this. And they had tested her. And as they tested her, they saw that all they can do is to do operation for her. And then we arrived. As we arrived, then the young people and coppers, everyone, they blew their trumpets and then they circulated that everywhere. And then the news, he has come. The years has come. She was already in the hospital. What did I say she had? Tell me now. Fiber. She was already on the hospital bed, and um, what she had, she was happy, very joyful. And as the joy came to her, she felt like going to the toilet. And when she got to the toilet, lo and behold, fibroid came out. Today, I will let you see it directly yourself. I'm going to stop now. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. My name is Blessing. Francis. I'm from Gaso, local government area of Taraba State. I am here to testify to the goodness of God, what he has done in my life. I was having excruciating pain in the stomach, not knowing what the problem was. When I went to the hospital, the doctor diagnosed fibroid and I was booked for operation. But it all happened on the day that our Pastor W.F. Kumi will come to Jalingo for supernatural liberation through Christ, Global Crusade. On the day he landed Jalingo, the joy of his arrival overwhelmed my heart. And I felt pressed. I went to the restroom. And there, the supernatural power of God touched me and the fibroid came out on its own. What I would have spent money in the hospital, the Lord did it for me, free of charge. Free of charge. singing for joy. For you. That what? Free of charge. For you. Joy. And as the joy of God fills your heart, fibroid will vanish away. Insanity will vanish away. All those problems initiated by the enemy, by the devil, the joy of the Lord will drive them out of your life in Jesus' name. And so, look at verse 18 here. Romans chapter 14, verse 18. For he that is in this sake serving the Lord Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men. And then in verse 19, 
Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace. Let us follow with our wives, with our husbands, with our children, with our brothers and sisters, with everyone around, because the way of peace is the way of blessing. Blessing in your life. When any problem happens, and then you wonder, what should I look at what this man has done? Well, look at this, what this woman has said. Now, think of the blessing you're expecting, and think of being at peace with him. Which one is more important, to fight and lose your blessing, or to be at peace and get abundance of blessings? Which one is better? Be at peace. You'll be at peace. I see you there, your life is peaceful. And your attitude from tonight, as Christ, our peace comes to your life, your life is peaceful in Jesus' name. Let's come to number three now. Number three, we're looking at transparent relationships and peace with godliness. We're looking at these three things. Number one, following peace and holiness before the highest, that is, before the Almighty. Number two, forsaking pride and haughtiness from hell. And uh, number three, fullness of peace and hope of heaven. Hope of heaven. Hope of heaven. When you get to heaven, your joy will not be limited. And you are going to get there. I am going to get there. Number one, look at number one, following peace and holiness before the highest. Look at Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14, follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Follow peace with all men. You know, when we know Christ, he is the Prince of Peace, and he lives in our lives. And whatever is happening, wherever we are going, Christ will go before you. The Prince of Peace will go before you. And as you follow him, Christ our peace, and Christ the Prince of Peace, then you follow peace with everyone in Jesus name before you talk before you talk the Prince of Peace will whisper the words of peace in your ears and then that's what you repeat and before you think anything the Prince of Peace will whisper thoughts of peace in your life and everywhere you go he will never leave you he will never forsake you and it will be the peace of your life in Jesus name and holiness, what's holiness? You put your feet where Christ, who is leading you, is putting his feet. He puts one leg there, you put your leg there. He puts the other foot there, you put your foot there, and you are following Christ, following Christ, the Prince of Peace. Your life will be a holy life. You know, somebody said, holiness is tall. I said, I don't know why you think like that. I say now, if I'm walking in front of you and I say, follow me, can you do that? I said, yes, I can do that. If I tell you, anyway, put my foot, put your foot there, can you do that? He said, yes, I can do that. I said, but that's holiness. Christ is walking in front of you and he lives in holiness and he abides in holiness and then you just walk after him and put your foot where he put his foot and you say what he will say and you do what he will do and you think the way he will think and then you have his grace in your life from tonight you will be holy in jesus name you'll be following and following all the days of your life look at number two there number two here is forsaking pride and haughtiness from hell i needed to tell you where pride comes from i needed to tell you where haughtiness comes from because sometimes if you don't know 
you'll be eating whatever. You know, somebody went to the dunk hill, um, full of germs and all that, and then he searched everything, and he brought a tin of milk, and he brought a loaf of bread, and he bought cake, and he's bringing it, and then he's giving it to you. And I said, hold on, don't take that thing yet. Let me tell you, it came from the dunk hill, full of germs and bacteria. Will you take it? Whatever comes from hell, you shouldn't take. Lucifer was in heaven. Then he had pride. And because of that pride, he was cast down. Hotiness came to him. And now since that time, Satan, Lucifer, that is uh, going to hell, and his abode is in hell forever and ever, he is the one that is bringing this commodity they call pride, this commodity they call uh, haughtiness, and because it's coming from hell, will you take anything coming from hell? The next time pride is introduced to you, know where that is coming from, I will not take that. I will not take that. Hotchiness, bragging, boasting, coming from hell. I will not take that. You will not take it in Jesus' name. Look at Isaiah chapter 14. Isaiah chapter 14, and I'm reading from verse 12. It says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations look at verse 13 it says for thou hast said in thine heart i will ascend into heaven and i will exalt my throne above the throne above the stars of god i will sit also upon the mount of the congregation and in the sides of the north look at verse 14 I will ascend above the heights of the clouds and I will be like the most high that's the pride and that's the haughtiness look at this now in verse 15 it says yet thou shall be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit that's why we say as we now have the peace of God and we're following the peace the prince of peace Whatever comes to hell, what comes from hell, I reject. I reject. I reject. You know, idea of suicide that's coming from hell, I reject. I reject. Say it, I reject. I reject. And all those sinful things that, you know, it was this Satan that went to Eve and made her to eat the forbidden fruit. And Eve did not realize, recognize, this is coming from hell. She accepted and she fell. You will not fall. I said, you will not fall. I come to point number three now. Number three, the fullness of peace and hope of heaven. The fullness. Somebody shout fullness. fullness. Your cup will be full. Amen. Your heart will be full. Amen. Your life will be full. Amen. Full of joy. Amen. Full of peace. Amen. Full of healing. Amen. Full of deliverance. And full of blessing all the days of your life in Jesus name the fullness of peace and hope of heaven and look at Romans chapter 15 we're reading from verse 13 Romans chapter 15 reading from verse 13 now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. There's a lot there, and it is for you. Yeah. I said it is for you as you come in relationship with Christ, our peace, the one who died for us, so that every confusion, 
so that every commotion will be taken out of your life and you come and say Lord I come I want to have total complete unbroken unbreakable relationship with Christ our peace the peace of God will fill your heart you know I was telling you we went to the northeast and then as we got there we prayed like we're going to pray tonight the prayer at that time was for these people I'm talking about the prayer tonight is for you I rejoice with you peace joy healing deliverance freedom provision success as we link up with Christ tonight in Jesus name this young man was called is called Dennis and after the prayer that day this this boy, young man had been tied always drugged to keep him quiet and calm and then he came to that global crusade and suddenly suddenly somebody shout suddenly, suddenly. he became normal after the ministration that we had that day can i show him your can i show you his face look at him now look at him so that dennis went to school of technology in takum after his graduation he has a serious challenge which affected his brain and he became so mad. after the prayer of pastor dr w f kumi the sisters start to discover that her brother has been recovered later in the night he went up and tapped her sister that he want to eat and he want to release himself so from that point he was delivered totally then we brought him back here in Dila village after bringing him here we have been visiting him and we have been praying with him and even this recent by Sakuset, we are together with him in the program he was there and everything is okay with him and he's totally delivered by the grace of God. My name is Tosan Dennis. I want to be a good leader. I want to go back to school. And somebody shout Amen! Everybody is being blessed everywhere. Everybody connecting with Christ everywhere. Now it's your turn. You will not miss your opportunity. Peace tonight. Fullness of peace tonight. And every blessing that comes with peace will come in your life tonight in Jesus' name. It's bowed and eyes closed. The Lord wants to bring you into a peaceful state of mind. Every confusion, every condemnation, every guilt and all the punishment of your sin the lord wants to take away right now and wants to make you a man of peace a woman of peace and a candidate for heaven if you want that peace of god and you want to connect in an, unbre in an unbreakable relationship with christ your peace right now Wherever you are, you raise up your hand. God bless you there. God bless you there. And the peace and the joy of the Lord be yours, even from this moment in Jesus' name. The Lord is waiting for you. Don't miss your chance. To the right, to the back, to the front, in the middle, on the right hand side, on the left hand side, anywhere you are, in the halls, and then in the various locations, on, in every region and every state, every country, Africa, America, Asia, uh, Europe, uh, anywhere you are, you want this peace of God right now to reign in your heart. And then all the relationships around you will be a relationship of peace. You raise up your hand. Thank you. God bless 
you. If you are raising up your hand, you please stand up. If you are raising up your hand, please stand up. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Wonderful. The wonderful peace of God will settle in your heart. The Lord is waiting for you. What else pick in the more in the in the on the ground? Get up, get up, get up, and let the peace of God settle in your heart as you are standing up. Tell the Lord, Oh Lord, I come. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have invited me. And I want peace in my heart. All the condemnation taken away. All the guilt taken away. And I want to have the joy and the peace of forgiveness. And I want to have the hope of heaven. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, and tell him, Lord, I believe. You have called me, I've responded, and you will not cast me away, you will not reject me. Tell the Lord, tell him, I know that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I have called, I am saved. Amen. Amen. Keep standing and pray with you. Now, Father, we thank you today. We bless your name. What a good God you are. What a compassionate God you are. And what a God of salvation you are. I pray for everyone now. I pray all their confusion, all the commotion, all the condemnation, all the guilt and the punishment for sin. Take away in their lives in Jesus' name. And I pray, Lord, forgiveness will come to everyone. Peace will come to every heart. Joy will come to every heart. And your salvation settled, assured, in every life right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name, I pray. Another amen. A good, resounding, confirming amen. It is done. Keep on standing. Our state pastor, Pastor Andrew Sagi, will come now and lead us in this, uh, in this um, counseling period. In all the locations, let our leaders take over now and also help us in this um, counseling period. The peace of God settle forever in your life in Jesus' name.